So, today I'm going to show you how to run Android apps natively on your PC. So basically what you'll need is an extension for Google Chrome that is called Arc Welder. You can see the icon right here. Um, basically this, uh, I wouldn't call it an emulator, but this thing um, makes uh, it possible to run Android apps natively on uh, your PC and I assume it will work on Linux uh, as well and of course it works on uh, Google Chromebooks uh, if you have one. So basically, uh, when you uh, download this uh, Chrome extension, which I'll give uh, the download link in the description uh, of this video, uh, you will uh, need to set a folder on your computer, which will save uh, some data files, data folders of the apps that you will install. Now, one thing to mention, actually two things. First of all, this extension will be huge. Uh, it will take some time to download. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, another thing, um, this app is currently more for developers. Uh, so it's suited for developing apps and uh, testing them natively. Uh, the thing is, uh, it works pretty nice on some of the apps and you can use it on a daily basis, uh, like I'll show you in a moment. Uh, not all apps will work with this. Uh, since, uh, for example, you can't launch the Google Music Player, for example, I already tried that. Um, since you need a uh, Google account uh, on uh, your device, and here it's not even a device, it's a specific Chrome extension, and you need other stuff like frameworks and things that uh, this thing currently doesn't have. Some of the apps work pretty well, like I'll show you in a second. So, for example, I have two apps uh, installed here of uh, Google Translate and the Switcher. Uh, the Switcher, you might have seen my um, one of my previous videos about uh, the, the smart boiler in your house that you can install and uh, turn on the boiler. So, basically, this is the same Switcher app uh, from the uh, phone that I have on my phone. But this one works on the PC, so uh, for example, if my phone is away or something, I can turn off uh, the boiler from here instead of uh, the app on the phone. It works uh, totally the same, works perfectly, at least this one up. Uh, I checked it for a few times and uh, it's great. Uh, currently, Switcher doesn't uh, have any web UI or a computer application uh, that you can uh, get uh, and install. Uh, so this is a good uh, thing to use uh, when your phone is away. Uh, the other app, as I said, is Google Translate, which works pretty well on uh, the computer as well. And for some reason, it doesn't stop. Okay, so for some reason, uh, the Google Translate app was uninstalled. Uh, now, as I said, it has some bugs in uh, this Arc Wilder. Uh, let's go ahead uh, and just uh, reinstall the Google Translate. Uh, I'll just show you how to install uh, an Android app here. Basically, you need to download an APK. Uh, you can download APKs from your Google Play Store. I will uh, give a link in the description of the video that uh, has like uh, an APK download link generator which you basically paste uh, a link from the Google Play website uh, of the APK that you want and it will generate a link to download the APK. Uh, here you just go click ahead and uh, just choose the APK that you want, currently it's the Google Translate, I'll click open and uh, it will ask you a thing, few things. Now basically uh, developers can use uh, OAuth uh, client ID and additional metadata uh, you can add here, for example, your Google account and uh, other settings, uh, which might uh, give you some options and uh, stuff to uh, test your application. Uh, so, as you can see, you can choose landscape or portrait mode. 
and uh, phone or tablet. So let's go ahead and click phone just because I'm regular for this. Uh, clipboard access, uh, if you, for example, want to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, will it uh, copy and paste between your app and PC. And then you go ahead and click uh, launch app and something weird will happen now. As you can see, for some reason, it asks me to uh, remove the um, switcher app. I don't know why, but uh, it always uh, asks me. I, I use cancel, but for some reason, after some time, the app disappears. So, as you have seen uh, with uh, Google Translate, it disappeared uh, before. So, here you can see uh, that uh, this is the same uh, app that you have uh, on your phone, uh, Google Translate. Let's choose, for example, well, you know, I love Japanese, so let's go ahead and uh, choose Japanese. And uh, the great thing here that uh, it will actually um, read your microphone as well. So, let's go ahead and just say something. Oh yeah, skip. Hello. Konnichiwa. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it translated uh, hello to konnichiwa, which is hello in Japanese, and uh, even uh, sounded it. One second, yeah, you can try type as well, uh, obviously. So yeah, let's go ahead and just check what is hello again, this time typing. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't let me now enter the translation for some reason. Uh, as I said, it has some bugs, it might have some bugs. Um, so yeah, now it's, it seems stuck. So I'll just close it, um, launch it again, and I hope it will be good. Yeah, here it is. Um, now another thing is that I didn't try is the camera, uh, which I think won't work since uh, I don't think it can handle a camera. Yeah, camera input uh, isn't supported on this device, uh, which is pretty much obvious. Now, uh, I'm not sure uh, if settings can show up, yeah. Uh, so basically, yeah, uh, you can run native uh, apps uh, on uh, your PC, as you can see. Again, uh, if I'll close now uh, both of them and the uh, arc welder, and go again and uh, run the switcher, I'm not sure it will work. Yep, now it works. Uh, so great, now I have uh, two apps that can work together. Uh, so yeah, just uh, hit uh, cancel and uh, I hope uh, it will be fine. Uh, as you can see, I can run them simultaneously as well. Uh, so that's it guys, uh, everything will be in the links uh, on the description of the video. Uh, click uh, thumbs up if you liked this video, thumbs down if you didn't. As always, share this channel with your friends so they will know all that cool stuff as well. Uh, that's it guys, don't forget to subscribe and uh, choose in the settings to uh, get the updates of uh, the videos on the subscription. Uh, and see you next time!